hello and welcome to my step-by-step guide that will help you create your own website in under three minutes. Before we continue, here is a quick overview. At first, we're going to select a website platform. Then we set up our hosting account and install the website software. The platform we're going to use is WordPress, a very popular platform, free and open source content management system. The hosting provider I'm using for all my projects is iPage. In this video tutorial, I'll guide you through the steps of setting your own hosting and domain in a few easy to follow steps. Your domain name is a unique name that allows your visitors to get to your website. Hosting is the place where your website is actually located. Hosting makes your website to be accessible to all users. As I said earlier, since I recommend iPage, here are some reasons why iPage. When it comes to hosting, you must choose the well-established and known web hosting provider. iPage currently serves over 1 million happy customers. iPage provides 24-7 phone, email and chat support. There's also an instant account activation, so there is no need to wait. The domain name is free and included with a hosting plan. During the process, I'll show you how to get a discount and how to claim your free domain name. They offer any time money back guarantee, so if you're not satisfied, you get your money back so there's no risk for you. One click, WordPress, installation saves a lot of time and very easy to use as I'll show you. So this is all the background information needed to get your website ready. A few words before we continue. It may seem a little complicated, but let me assure you, if you follow these step-by-step -step guides, there's no room for error. I'll guide you in each step of getting your domain name, hosting and WordPress set up. Click the first link at the description. It will take you to iPage. Now at iPage, I'll guide you through the process of starting your blog. To do so, just click on the sign up button here. The process starts by selecting your free domain name. The first thing you need to do is select a domain name for your website. For this tutorial, I'll choose 3minutesblog.com. Just choose a domain name that suits the subject of your blog, including the domain extension you would like. For example, .com, .net or .org. Then click on Check Availability. If the domain name is not available, choose another domain name and click on Check Availability again. In case the domain name is free for registration, we are redirected to the second step of the process. Here you have to fill your personal contact information, as well as your payment information. There are two types of payments available, credit card and PayPal. Then you have to choose your hosting plan. There are three types of plans available, for 12 month, 24 month and 36 month. As you can see, the 12 month package costs $2.50 a month but I'll show you a trick how to get it at $1.99 a month. To get the discount, you have to go with the mouse towards the address bar and move around. It will trigger the discount offer. Now when you see the offer, go ahead and click the Sign Up Now button. As you can see now, you get the web hosting for as low as $23.88 for 12 months, including a domain with all the regular features, money back guarantee, instant account activation, no step fee, domain is included, if you want to keep your domain name anonymous, it costs $9.99 a year. Domain privacy means that no one can see who the owner of the domain is. You can choose if you need that. For this domain, I'm going to uncheck this. There are website essentials, for example, site protection and automatic site backup. They improve your performance, but they're not necessary, and I'll uncheck them for this tutorial. As you can see, we're at $23.88. This is our final price. If you're a European citizen, you will be charged a VAT. If you're from the United States, as I am, you don't have to pay it. So you get a 12 month of hosting and a free domain name for only $23. That's a very good deal in my experience. Some other hosting providers charge you that for the domain name only. Then just click on checkout. Now I got transferred to PayPal where I log into my account. and confirm my payment. That's it. Now you're waiting for the automatic account activation email. My email. As you can see, I have already received an iPage activation email. Click on the auto confirmation and login info and click on the first link in the getting started section. Now we have to set up our password for the user account. Select a password that has at least six characters, at least one lowercase letter and one uppercase letter. At least two numbers. Now special character. Then you have to set your security question. Then the referral information. Just choose something you like. Then you have to agree the terms for service. 
Congratulations, you've successfully opened your first hosting account. Now I'll show you how to install WordPress. Just go to the website, WordPress. Now just click install on the brand new installation, usually latest version of WordPress. Select your domain, and here you can change your subdirectory. We're not going to use this. Now click check domain. If you get an error about files existing in the domain, it's okay. Just a warning if you didn't mean to override them. Click continue as it's a new setup. And now accept the terms of use. And wait. WordPress has been installed. After install, to see your login info, click on view credentials. Now click on view. Scroll a little bit down. All this information is also sent to your email account. At first you'll see your blog URL, your admin URL, your username and password. Now go to your admin URL and log in with your username and password. That's it.